Okay, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Hainam po na sapaknan. Close your eyes. And look at the potentials you have for the breath right now. The body and the mind have lots of potentials in the present moment, all the different things that are offered by our past karma. And it's not just one thing happening at a time. There are many different potentials that are present. It's up to you to decide which ones you want to make the most of, which ones you want to put aside. Like right now, you can focus on making the breath comfortable. You can try lengthening it, you can try shortening it, making it lighter, making it heavier, deeper, more shallow. Thinking of the different levels of breath energy in the body. There's the in and out breath, there's the breath flowing through the nerves, the breath flowing through the blood vessels, the parts of the body where the breath is still. Lots of different things you could focus on. That's just the body, and the mind has even more potentials. As the Buddha once said, the mind is more variegated than even the animal kingdom. Think of all the different animals out there, from the whales on down to the insects. And your mind has more variations than that. So which variation are you going to focus on? You could focus on things that make you suffer. You can focus on things that would actually put an end to suffering. That's why we have four noble truths. It's not just one noble truth or four. You could choose right now which ones you're going to emphasize. You've got the potential for mindfulness. You've got the potential for sense of ease. You've got the potential for alertness. So try to make the most of those potentials. Think of it as watering a garden. You've got weeds, but you've also got seeds for good plants. So water the good seeds. Remove the weeds when you see them. But otherwise, you don't have to pay that much attention. Try to emphasize the things that are actually going to form the path. You'll see this today. They're forecasting there's going to be hot temperatures. Well, the temperature is just a matter of the body. It doesn't have to have an inroad on the mind. The mind can focus on being alert and being mindful, staying with the breath, which is not a matter of hot or cold at all. It's just the energy flowing. And as for the heat in the body, that's going to do its own thing. You don't have to make it worse. You can focus on the other potentials right now that actually will give you energy on the path, give you the ability to stick with the practice. And he will, he will be just there in the body, he won't make inroads in the mind. So try to make that distinction. Whatever the issue may be, there are things you know about, they're there, but you don't have to make them your preoccupation. It's your preoccupation that emphasizes the potentials you've got. So try to emphasize the ones that are really good and useful. <laughs> 